So I'm going to show you how to create a Google form to monitor progress in your school counseling program. So first go over to your Gmail account and click that waffle shape and go to Drive. Once you're in your Drive you're going to click New and then it might be there if not click more it's the purple icon it says Google Forms. So here you have a blank form. So let's say that we're going to use this one to measure progress in friendship. Maybe the student was in a friendship group. I first want to ask some basic information for whoever's filling out the form. So I'm going to ask the name of the student and then the name of the person completing the form and they are the rater. So we're going to ask the rater their name and their relationship to the student. So maybe it's their teacher or maybe another staff member, maybe a parent. And then we're going to put the date in there. And Google is smart. It will see what you're writing and assume what kind of answers you want. So because I wrote date, it thought I wanted a month, date, and year box, which I did. So that worked out great. Also, if you see those two rectangles I push, that makes a duplicate copy. So you can have a template for your next question. So our first one is going to say the student initiates conversation with someone new. And we're going to do a multiple choice. And our options are going to be rarely, sometimes, or often. I will then duplicate this one for our next one. So this one will say the student is kind to others. And because I duplicated it, it has the same choices. So there's a few options for sharing it. You can title it over there and then click send. And you can send it via email or a link that you can give people. That's the easiest way. Then if you click that eyeball, it'll take you to preview mode. So you could have people fill it out right there. So here's an example. I'm writing in all the information, click submit. Then submit another response takes us back to that same screen so someone else could fill out the form. Meanwhile, if we go back to our original form, we will see where it started to collect the data. Our one response is recorded. So you can click summary to look at all the responses and compare them to one another. Or if you're looking at one student, you can click on individual, and this has all the answers there. This is an okay way to look at it, but it's much better if we have it in a spreadsheet. So click that green button, and this will create a spreadsheet in Google Sheets. This will also be on your Google Drive. So click create, and here we go. We have the timestamp for when the form is completed, the student name, the rater name, all the information is right there in our form. And as more people fill out your forms, all the information will be recorded here. Well, there you have it. You are now ready to create your own Google Forms to track data in your school counseling program. Good luck!